DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, is a long chain in the shape of a double helix made up of nucleotides. DNA is composed of a deoxyribose sugar, a phosphate group, and one of four different nitrogen-containing bases. There are four nitrogen-containing bases called adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Adenine and guanine are purines, meaning they have two rings of carbon and nitrogen atoms, while thymine and cytosine are pyrimidines, so they only have one ring of carbon and nitrogen atoms. Why, hello, Crick. Hello, Watson. What was it that we stole, I mean, discovered? I believe that's the DNA double helix. Ah, uh, yes, the DNA. It's composed of two chains of nucleotides wrapped around each other in a twisted ladder. Voila! DNA double helix. Before mitosis, a cell copies its DNA, resulting in two exact copies of the original. First, DNA is unzipped by helicase enzymes. DNA polymerase, an enzyme, go along the two chains, adding complementary nucleotides. This process results in two identical copies, each consisting of a chain of nucleotides from the original, and one new chain. Hey Watson, how's, how's Rosalind doing? She's doing fine. Out back. I assume we'll be getting daisies in a few weeks or so. Did she say uh, anything important? She did say something about RNA. RNA is almost exactly like DNA, except for a few key differences. First of all, the sugar is ribose instead of deoxyribose. Second, RNA is single-stranded. And thirdly, RNA does not have thiamine, but instead has uracil. There are three types of RNA. Messenger RNA, transfer RNA, and ribosomal RNA. Messenger RNA is a linear chain and it carries genetic information from the nucleus to the cytosol. Ribosomal RNA is globular and reads mRNA, then assembles amino acids in the right order to create proteins. Transfer RNA is a single chain twisted into a hairpin shape that brings amino acids to the mRNA and joins them to form a protein. The process known as transcription is when genetic information is copied from DNA to RNA. First, RNA polymerase binds to the promoter or specific region of DNA beginning a certain gene. A copy of this segment of DNA is produced using RNA nucleotides, forming the mRNA strand. Proteins are synthesized in a process called translation. During translation, the nucleotides are matched with amino acids, which is the genetic code. First, mRNA leaves the site of transcription, the nucleus, and enters the cytosol. Here in the cytosol, amino acids are attached to transfer RNA. Ribosomal RNA then attaches itself to the mRNA at the codon, or three-letter code on mRNA that codes for a specific amino acid. When the ribosomal RNA reads a codon, the complementary tRNA comes. The three-letter sequence, or anticodon, then lines up with the coinciding codon, and the amino acids form a peptide bond. Eventually, the ribosome reaches a stop codon, which signifies that the protein is complete and translation is stopped. Aren't we all scientifically correct? Indubitably. Well, I think we've had enough intellectual discussion for one day. Goodbye, Watson. Bye, Greg.